What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here today on Torque Drift. Big shout out to Torque Drift. Over 2,000, or 2,000, over 2 million sessions played, everybody, and it's still going up. Everybody loving the Torque Drift game. Mad Mike Wadette and the Oracle Viper of Dean Carney sitting right there. So today's episode is all about that pro status. Well, I say pro status, but, you know, it is a pro status. So... If you guys noticed from the last video, the E30 build, I do have Mad Mike's car. I did drive it once. Today, it's all about that Mad Mike with that Miata MX-5. So we're going to be ripping this today. 1,223 horsepower on Nitto tires. Definitely looks so amazing, and I cannot get over the detail of this game. So we're going to be ripping this car today, and that is the purpose of today. We're going to be doing some tandems in the Mad Mike car driving as much as we can just hearing the constant rev bang of that rotary Ooh, and it looks like we got cali bank speedway the slab and long line to rip today so uh well we're gonna start off my favorite track cali banks and uh i have noticed something with these with the the mad mike car driving it more and more i feel like the downforce in the wing helps the downforce on the car helps so i did add downforce to my other cars um, my pro cars and uh, it seems to help so heroin hero definitely an interesting uh, choice of names but we are gonna get this thing up in the fourth because I found starting in fourth is my best option oh, and it's all over the place already but we're gonna try and uh, handbrake it up to the wall nowhere near the wall we'll get up there there we go stretch out as much as we can first run of the day not the best but you know we'll get better with time or episodes and he just DC'd himself. He didn't want to run. He did not want to go against us. Well that's sad. Just because I have a pro the the custom mad my car does not mean you don't have a chance to win. There's times and you guys can be a testament to it on the live streams. I make mistakes. I make mistakes a lot. So waiting for our new opponent to load in. And then we got, oh my. How about that name for everybody? Trying to keep this uh, family friendly, but uh, names like that? Woo. Some people. All right, so here we go, we're gonna kick it in. Uh, a little bit too hard, and the wall bites. So, the wall bit us on that, so hopefully we can just get a good chase run to um, redeem ourselves because we didn't get that much of a good run either. So, Kelly Banks bites me again. I swear, I'm a lot better of a driver than this. But we're gonna try and get a good chase with the car. Kick it in. There we go. Oh, man. See? We both had terrible runs, but I'm gonna try to make the best of this run. We're not gonna be able to take the win, so we're definitely gonna have to uh, try this one again. Just that rotary, just rev banging. Let me see if he'll, uh, he'll take us for another, uh, there we go. He'll take us for another run. So, uh, we're going to see if we can't get a good entry now. i got to be more more careful on my steering. There we go. Now now we should be good. Enter in. Not as high as I want to be. A little handbrake to get up there. A little left foot brake to stay on the wall. It's a little bit better of a run. Not a perfect wall ride, but... A decent run, 50,000. We will uh, best his lead run there. So this car is definitely a very interesting car to drive. Um, and uh, being the power it has and the fact that it doesn't rev down as fast, when you get off the gas, the wheels still stay spinning because of how, how much this thing is strung out. But like I said, I feel like the downforce on the wing helps because it kind of plants it. So... I did add downforce to my other cars, so I believe we'll take that win for sure. We did. So we're going to switch up tracks, go to another track here, and uh, rip Mad Mike's car 
and another course. If you guys are enjoying these Torch Drift videos, let me know in the comment section down below. I do enjoy playing Torch Drift. Um, I do apologize for the no live stream this week, but like I said, I've been out of town. So, um, live stream will be happening next week for sure. Probably on Torque Drift. Give me some Forza. Give me some Seto. I know a lot of people would want to do more uh, Torque Drift live battles. Um, I do have a lot of fun with those, so we will be doing some more of those. Especially with all the cars being as high caliber as they are now. Waiting for some updates from uh, Torque Drift for some maybe some more cars and stuff like that. Because uh, that's what we need. We need some more cars up in the mix. Does nobody want to run with me on the slab? Okay. There we go. Gee dizzle. 1,000 horsepower car. This should be interesting. Kick our car up into fourth. And kick it into fifth. And let's see if we can't get a good run here at slab. So far, so good. Just rev banging this car. I do love how this car sounds. Just bouncing off red line. I was a little bit offline there, but we'll be managed to uh, keep our angle and keep our points. We'll be able to try and run that as close as we can. I was hoping I would not touch that, but we did. That shouldn't mess up our clean run too bad because it wasn't that bad of a tap. It was just a tap. 51. He's probably going to outbest our lead. 51, 464. Okay, this is a close. So we're going to need to lay down a solid chase in order to make sure we uh, come home with a win on this. Quick click in the fifth. For the chase, enter in. Gave myself a little bit too much room to begin with, but I wasn't sure what line he was gonna run. But now we can suck back up. There we go. Let's suck up while tapping of the left foot brake. Oops, a little bit too much. But he uh, had to reinitiate there anyway. So definitely uh, a very good chase run. Just a little tap on his door. Little tap on his bumper to let him know I'm there. So a solid chase run in Mad Mike's car, and we definitely took that win. So good, solid chase run with a good solid lead means a uh, good solid win. So we're gonna run the slab one more time because the slab is so much fun for uh, getting door to door here. Let's see who we're going against? Probably the same guy. I've noticed uh, I've been getting a lot of repeats recently. But uh, maybe we'll get somebody different. We do. Cob zone. Or cab zone. Only 591 horsepower though. So this is going to be a bit of a hard car to chase. I'm going to have to be doing a lot of left foot braking. A lot of hand braking. Maybe some clutch kicking. To be able to keep behind the car. But we're going to try and bang doors with him. If we get a chance to get a good chase on him. As long as he has a decent run. I'm gonna flick that one in. We're gonna flick it back so that we actually get all the clips this time. Run it nice and wide. We're gonna try and not tag our front bumper on this part again. Still gonna get that clip. A little bit wider than I wanted to on the end, but we'll take it. 30,000 standard points with our clean run. 68, 771. The clean run makes a huge difference now. And I love the clean run score. What did he get? He got a 34883. So a probably a decent run. He probably tagged the wall towards the end or there. So we're gonna see if we can't do a little uh do a little door magic here on this chase on this E46. Initiate in with him. Trying to do as much as I can. Said I knew this was gonna be a hard hard chase run with the power differences but we're holding ourselves back a little bit hard on the left foot brake grinding his door oh god I almost lost that but he had to adjust himself there so a very very solid 49,000 chase maybe 50 I don't know still adding up so my chase game has definitely gotten a lot better in this game. Um, utilizing that left foot braking is definitely a big plus. Um, do a lot of left foot braking in Forza and stuff, and you know, left foot braking in this game helps a lot. You gotta just make sure you're uh, actually tapping counter steer or turning counter steer when you hit left foot brake, or it kind of like whips the back end of the car around. So 
definitely been having a lot of fun with Mad Mike's car. And uh, hope you guys are enjoying the torture of content because uh, I know I am enjoying playing the game. So what better way than to just bring it to you guys and enjoy it as well. Gonna initiate really soon with that. Try and bring the back end of the car out to get those clips. Cut it in really hard. There we go. Close on that. Cut it back. Run that inner edge. We're gonna try and run this out as far as we can. Getting those close call points on that outer wall. Can break really hard. The state. Oh god. I didn't want to lose it. I knew I would have just tapped it, so I bailed. But a very, very solid 42,000 base run with a 74 multiplied on there, and he got a 62. So this is going to be a good chaseable run. So we'll see if we can't bang some doors with him in Mad Mike's car. Big thank you to Mad Mike for letting me have his car for the day. Trusting me to uh, basically run doors in his car. Wouldn't that be funny if Mad Mike was like, yep, yep, you can borrow my car for the day. Just don't wreck it. Oh, little door love. Definitely, uh, door banging this guy. <laughs> oh, a oh, little bit of a mess up on my chase there, but come back in. Bang on the door a little bit more. Hold that far out angle. Over 58,000. Almost a 60,000 chase. Definitely one of my better chase runs if I wouldn't have oh yeah we definitely won if I wouldn't have banged doors with him a little bit too much we would have done better but yes for this Mad Mike car took a minute for me to get used to the driving characteristics of the car right there is almost a perfect chase and little door love a little bit back right there a little bit of a bobble by my part but was able to suck it back in the door the giant nitto wing right there so, definitely been uh, enjoying driving this car, for sure. And uh, we're on a little four-win winning streak. Oh, we just kicked in the Drift King level with uh, Mad Mike's car. We got out of the pro level, so now we're back. Now we're in a Drift King level with this car, which means we should be up into some uh, higher caliber drivers um, with a little more, a uh, little more time behind the screen. I guess you could say, I would say behind the wheel, but you know, behind the screen. Because everybody starts somewhere and uh, I feel bad, you know, taking this car when it was a pro level against some people that are just starting because it's kind of like, uh, well, it's kind of a cheating move, I guess you could say. But I face a lot of people that have these pro cars and well, just because they have a pro car does not mean they can drive. Oh my God. Just like that case in point, I don't know how I didn't lose all my points, but I feel kind of like a, a jerk for that that run because he's not going to be able to chase that by any means. This was, I mean, it's a good solid run, but I feel bad about that little uh, screw up there. So, Danny Fu, I'm sorry for my chase run, or for my lead run, I, I do apologize for the uh, little bobble that ensued. But at least, uh, at least we'll be able to try and uh, redeem our run self here. Oh my, <laughs> flicking it too hard. The steering angle on this car is way more than any of my other cars. So this car will rotate so much faster and we are just Oh man. Oh, okay. So he did kind of the same thing I did. So I don't feel much as a jerk now. He's uh, a little bit of bobble there. So but like I said, everybody's got to start somewhere. Not everybody can just pick this up and uh, play right away. Just take a little practice to get good at handling the car and understanding what the car is going to do. So I think we are going to uh, head back to Cali Banks for one or two more runs. Or we could try and run the long line. We didn't run the long line. Let's run the long line and see uh, what we can do with Mad Mike's car in the long line. Definitely one of the more interesting tracks to run. Um, if you uh, initiate wrong, you're you're done. You're in the Jersey Barriers. Your car's wrecked. I've seen this car before. I've seen this guy's car before. 
And if I remember correctly, he throws it down here at long line. So we're going to try and not over-initiate. And there it is. But it didn't, it didn't wreck us, and we didn't lose our clean run score, but definitely not a very good run. A little bit too much on the handbrake there. It's a long line. Definitely a very interesting track to try and run. Uh, that was a very uh, bad run. So we're not going to end the episode off in this run. Just smack the mic with my hand. Because I would feel bad if we ended the run on this. But like I said, he threw down a good solid run. So maybe we can redeem ourselves with a good solid chase. I don't think we'll be able to come up with enough chase points to win. But uh, we can definitely... Uh, can definitely try. It's like a uh, Dayoshihara inspired paint scheme on an S14. That's pretty sweet. Oh man. Okay. Well. He went all gangster angle on me and I uh, could not hold it in with him. So uh, it's going to be kind of a uh, of a loss there. We'll hit up Cali Banks and see if we can't conquer the bank in that Mike Scar perfectly once. Well, I'd say perfectly, but as close to perfect as we can. Yeah, we didn't win, for sure. So, we're gonna head to Cali Banks to end this episode off. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, which you found in the description box below, as well as on all social media sites down in the description box below. So, Make sure you guys like this video if you guys want to see more. And uh, make sure you tap and subscribe if you are not a subscriber. I do appreciate all the support. I do appreciate you guys coming back and watching these episodes. That slap train all over the hood. We've got these slap logos. I really want them to uh, adjust the uh, game so that my logo is available to be got. Because uh, it's still glitched. Along with a lot of other sponsors. This is a halfway decent... Cali Bank run. That's actually a very decent Cali Bank run. A little tap on the wall, but uh, we were able to get a very solid lead. So we are probably definitely going to end the episode off on this one. So we're going to try and chase him down and uh, end this episode off here. Hope you guys enjoyed this Mad Mike Wadette all about the car drifting episode. There's not much you can do to the car other than, oh, got some people commenting on a on a video on Instagram he loves the game a lot so do I so we did take the win on that so until next time guys thank you guys for watching I'm evil rabbit I'm out